Here is my recently maiden semi-scale short sky band made of Dollar Tree foam board. It weighs 2,600 grams or 92 ounces all up flying weight. So far I've carried 1,500 grams or 53 ounces worth of payload. The pilot chute is 30 inches in diameter and the main chute is 60 inches in diameter. Both are made of nylon and hot glue. cargo deployment first the pilot chute is released it pulls to line stretch and extracts the main parachute which comes to line stretch and then lowers the cargo to the ground This was a near disaster when the 1500 grams of cargo became lodged in the cargo bay and I was forced to land the plane with the pilot chute in tow in full throttle and full flaps. <laughs> Here's my new 1 12th scale all Dollar Tree foam board sky van semi scale cargo dropper. It has a 66 inch wingspan and is 44 inches long. It is a semi scale to the short SC7 sky van. I've increased the cord of all of the surfaces, including the wing, vertical, and horizontal stabilizer, just for real lifting purposes, um, but the basic H tail and the boxy fuselage layout are pretty much the same as the sky van. Using the same arm and wing airfoil as I always do, foam board covered with packing tape. This is a 9 inch total cord, 7 inch airfoil cord, and two 30 inch sections with a little gap in between mixed for a 66 inch wingspan. Here's a look under the hood. In between the wings are the 240 amp speed controllers, the carbon arrow spar that you see that extends down the, almost the full length of each wing, a gyro on the roll for a little bit of stabilization, a um, voltage smoothing capacitor right there, and an ordinary spectrum receiver. And that all just closes up right between the wings. It runs on four 2200 milliamp hour three cell LiPos all connected in parallel here and then run via a single wire to the two speed controllers here and here. I'm using two uh, 1000 kV outrunners from RC Timer. Uh, these generate about 370 watts each 
turning a 12 by 6 inch APC prop. The width of the fuselage is 8 inches and it makes for a quite large payload capacity. I've carried up to 1500 grams, that's three water bottles, 500 mLs each, and it flew fine. It does not have rudders or steerable nose gear, so I have I used a V-tail mixer for differential thrust on the props and also mixed a little bit of that to the ailerons so that I can get a little bit of turn coordination. The ailerons are outboard and are on a single aileron channel with a rate gyro in place just to kind of smooth out the roll, particularly when I'm dropping payloads I need it to be kind of locked in and steady. It has 15 inch three position flaps in neutral takeoff and landing. The struts are uh, 325 millimeter uh, carbon fiber helicopter blades. I have a two inch full span elevator. Here is the deployment system. There is the pallet that goes on the aircraft. The payload, in this case a 500 ml water bottle, has velcroed there and it is attached by this bridle to the main chute, which is a 60 inch um, nylon and netting parachute with a 30 inch pilot chute that extracts the main chute and the payload from the aircraft. So when it's deployed, the pilot chute comes out of the rear of the aircraft and by this bridle pulls loose this um, Velcro here and that in turn releases the main chute and the payload to fall out the back. The payload pallet is held in the plane by these four rare earth magnets. So there are the rare earth magnets in the floor of the airplane. I have more than the four that you see from the payload pallet for different payload configurations. This is the pilot chute release mechanism. It's just an ordinary 9 gram servo metal gear with a short length of push rod that protrudes over the edge of this uh, plastic gift card and a rubber band attached to it. The pilot chute goes under the rubber band and that's so when the pen is retracted by the servo, the rubber band just pops off and the pilot chute, which is here, falls away. And there is everything in place. So what happens is the Servo pulls the push rod, the rubber band releases the pilot chute, the pilot chute pulls out the main chute, and the main chute pulls out the cargo.